हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज़ जान की जीवन आई बिलोंग्स टू शहीद भगत सिंह कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इवोल्यूशन ऑफ जोग्राफिकल थिंकिंग एंड डिसिप्लिनरी ट्रेंड्स इन ब्रिटेन द मॉडर्न जोग्राफिकल थाट इन ब्रिटेन हैज़ बीन इवॉल्विंग सिंस द स्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ रॉयल जोग्राफिकल सोसाइटी इन एटीन थर्टी बिफोर दिस पीरियड जोग्राफी वॉज टॉट only at the school level in britain some early geographers like mary somerville and francis galton had initial impacts on geographical studies but it was royal uh, geographical society which led the beginning of geography as a distinct subject by making its effort in academic activities like collection of books journals maps the society worked on various geographical research method prepared research guidelines for young academicians and researcher further this society also used to organize seminars which were usually attended by geographer from the different countries like germany france these geographers attending seminars and symposium shared their views assessments ge geographical knowledge with emerging Uh, british scholars in this background some young and enthusiastic british uh, scholars developed their interest in geography and helped in introducing geography at the university level in the country in addition with the help of royal geographical society many professors readers uh, post actually created at university uh, uh, universities and a separate department of geography was established at oxford university where holford john mackinder appointed as a reader later he became a professor at the same place uh, therefore it was mackinder who formally started uh, british geographical thought at the school of geography in oxford university in 1887 a number of geographers uh, like john Harvardson led C B Foyd uh, George Goody Gilsum uh, and Roxby uh, Sydney William uh, and Harvard John Fleur Dudley Stamp were the prominent who geograph uh, who led the actually geographical movement led by the Mackinder the geographer worked, worked around various geographical and enriched its distinctive uh, and scientific branch of knowledge in Britain. Uh, british geographer and their significant contribution uh, first of all we will discuss about mackinder he is known as the founder of the british school of geography at oxford university he viewed that geography as a subject aimed at uh, bridging the natural sciences and hum humanities and taking variation of interaction between man and society in their environment as a core of study he accepted redgill's view and pointed out anthropo geographers are real geographer and real geographer are adventurer therefore training is imperative for becoming a geographer uh, following his view he adventured eastern africa and climb mount kenya his writing on the geopolitics got international reputation because of his thinking was governed by visualization of the world map and its uh, regional complexes which have been formed by numerous changes combination of viewed uh, physical and human elements on the earth surface in 1802 he developed his interest in historical geography and wrote a book entitled british and british seas containing his geographical views and theories analysis of the Brit uh, british history and the regional interpretation of the britain and its seas later he became a pop, uh, very popular by his research article entitled uh, geographical pivot of history in 1904 he formulated the concept of geographical, uh, geographical pivot of history which is also known as heartland theory of mackinder this theory uh, has certain proposition on the balancing of the power uh, the heartland theory and its geopolitical scheme uh, actually mackinder pointed out after the age of exploration uh, uh, the oceanic power weakened because of the most of the coastal areas are strategically accessible and vulnerable in fact actual power lies in the pivot area russia this landlocked pivot area heartland was potentially powerful because of its inaccessibility to the oceanic power its its strategic position and development of transcontinental communication like railway and telecommunication etc the pivot area is encircled by inner Uh, crescents that is marginal continental states and outer crescents that is 
overseas power like Britain, USA, Japan. He considered Russia was private area, which jo strategically important uh, in the world. However, if Germany takes ties with it, the private area can have developed its oceanic fleet as well. In this scenario, overseas power like, like uh, France, Italy, India, Korea have to be united to contain the growing power of the private allies. He further elaborated this heartland theory in his uh, textbook entitled Democratic Ideas and Reality published in 1919. In the First World War, as Germany tried to dominate on the Russia heartland, Allies navies were stopped to enter in the Baltic and Black uh, Seas. Such event popularized the Macander heartland theory. Macander further reviewed and, uh, and included the Eastern Europe in the heartland and proposed the concept of world island that includes Asia and Europe and Africa. Uh, the most uh, as uh, in this figure, uh, the world island has been given a uh, figure number one. Uh, uh, Backender actually warned of the danger of the heartland falling in, in the control of the uh, uh, Soviet Union. Hence, Russia uh, would have ability to strike on a peripheral lands of the world island from its all direction. He summarized his view of uh, global strategy in the famous lines, who rules the East Europe commands the heartland, who rules the heartland, who commands the world island, who rules the world island commands the world. He repeated the same view in 1943, a few years before his death during the Second World War. The theory of the heartland was criticized because of rising importance of air uh, power, satellite technology, missiles, importance of Arctic uh, region because of it is encircled by uh, all superpower like USA, Russia, North America, North uh, Europe, Northern uh, China, Japan, etc. Nevertheless, McCandler laid uh, the foundation of geostrategic theory which uh, inspired various geographers across the world to study geostrategic and political geography. The another uh, geographer uh, from the Britain was Hughes Har uh, Robert Mill. He was influenced by uh, Darwinian uh, environmentalism and Otto Suter's morphological approach. His concept of physiography also included the geography of man. His view was similar to the Ristopin system of spatial distribution phenomena overlaid as pyramid, where it is best uh, uh, it is best contained uh, physical structure on the top and human socio socioeconomic features. Uh, Further, his interest was to study water as an element to which sustained all form of life and provide inexhaustible source of energy. He uh, wrote a book that book name was Realm of the Nature, aims at study water, uh, water published in 1891. Later, he prepared rainfall maps on the basis of 50 years of average uh, rainfall data and also prepared land use map for the Britain. Another geographer was Sir Patrick Geddes. He was a Scottish geographer who, uh, who was inspired by the Vidal de la Blas and La Place research on the family lifestyle and the family budgets. As per his view, the family life depends upon the family lifestyle, family budgets. He transformed Lee Place formula, place work family into place work folk as the uh, folk as the basic concept in the study of the cities and the region. Another great geographer was uh, Andrew J. Herbertson. Uh, after Macander, uh, Herbertson became the professor at uh, Oxford University. Geddes had immense impact on his study of regionalization. While working with the Geddes at Oxford, he presented a scheme of division of the world into 15 natural regions on the basis of homogeneity in the uh, surface feature, climate and vegetation. As per his view, there is interaction between inorganic and organic component in the in natural regions. He further pointed out that the all natural regions are in fact uh, physical regions. Each regions represent a unique imprint on man and environmental relationship. Another geographer was H. J. Fleur. He was a professor at Manchester. He viewed that the human problem must be understood not only through the space but also uh, time and types, which has has been well explained in the, his book entitled Corridors of Time. 
he wanted to elucidate the regional personality through city structure, its social institution and functions. He authored another book named Human Geography in Western Europe analyzing the main uh, the mainly the human reasons as per his view the only environment does not in influence the reason hence human influences are equally important another british geographer was p m roxby uh, he elaborated the contents and method of the regional studies according to his view the first of all regional studies required a demarcation of natural resource on the basis of geology drainage and coastal lines climate vegetation with reference to the man and environmental relationship he further proposed a concept of human reason and pointed out that the differential spatial relation account for difference between man um, between two man reasons within a natural region. He viewed that the man must adjust with changing natural region and its environment. Another geographer, British geographer was S. W. Willrich. He was a professor at King's College. He was in association of uh, with, uh, with Morgan who wrote a book on demorphology. According to him, physical geography is a platform for human life and human activities in order to express his view on geographical contents and method. He authored a book entitled Geographers as Scientists in 1956. His book named Spirit and Purpose of Geography became very popular amongst students and academicians as well. L.D. Stomp was the greatest uh, British geographer. He worked as an uh, academician and a professor at universities like Rangoon, London and was revived by, by honorary doctorate from various universities like Clark Universities, Edin, Edinburgh, uh, Stockholm and Warsaw, uh, Warsaw University. He authored more than 30 books namely Geography of Life and Death, Handbooks of Commercial Geography, uh, The Land of the Britain, Use and Misuse our developing uh, world Asia, a region and economic geography and the land for tomorrow, underdeveloped world, etc. Stamp's most, most uh, significant work was uh, county level survey on land use in Britain. He emphasis, his emphasis was on use of geographical knowledge for human development and their prosperity. Being a president of Inter International Geographical Union, IGU, he, had always be, uh, he has been always active in enriching the contents and scientific methods in geographical studies. Another great uh, British geographer was Richard J. Chorley. He and his companion uh, Peter Haggett worked on application of statistical techniques and mathematical methods in geographical analysis. Beside, Chorley continued to uh, actually contributed to physical geography, especially geomorphology and climatology. Chorley uh, along with the Peter Haggett had also written in a number of books like Frontiers in Geography, Geographical Teaching in, uh, that is published in 1975, Models in Geography published in 1967, Socioeconomic Models uh, in Geography that published in 1968 uh, and Physical and Information Models in Geography uh, 1969, Integrated Models in Geography that is published in 1969. These books highlighted the various new methods and techniques in geographical analysis which inspired many young geographer to do more research on this application. Another great uh, geographer was Peter Haggett. Actually, he along with uh, uh, Richard J. Chorley wrote several books on the application of statistical and mathematical techniques in geography. Besides his individually, uh, he in individually authored books uh, namely Locational Analysis in Human Geography published in 1965. Another was Geography A Modern Synthesis published in 1975, which mainly encompasses the scope of geography and its analytical methods and techniques along with numerous map and diagrams and photo photographs. Now we will discuss about disciplinary trends in Britain. There are so many actually disciplinary trends and branches of the geography developed in the Britain. As ever cited geographer have contributed evolution of various uh, branches like economic geography, agriculture geography, human and settlement geography in the country that is Britain which is being discussed as, as 
uh, as follows first of all economic geography economic geography as a discipline has been very popular in britain during interwar period the Br british geographer emphasizes the studies of economic activities and the factor especially natural factors determining their location one of the one of the predominant geographer was uh, uh, Virchenin, who ex, uh, examined the physical factors affecting location of industries and area aerial pattern of the crops. Beside William Smith was another geographer who authored a book entitled The Economic Geography of the Britain, uh, aim, aiming at systematic study of the regional variation in economic productivity in the country. This book in uh, its entirety focused on economic data analysis with ecological approach. In addition, George Gould Chilsom authored a book namely called uh, Handbook of the Commercial Geography in 1889. After Chilsom, uh, Robert Mill also, uh, also wrote General Geography containing detailed uh, account of the uh, polar explorer. Later, he uh, proposed a plan for the land use in Britain, which inspired by the LD Stump to prepare as well accepted the land use map in Britain. In addition, Herbertson framework actually divided the world into 15 natural regions of the great importance for the study of the world, regional and economic geography. Uh, another was regional studies. The e evolution of regional studies and trends in Britain was significantly influenced by the concept of land step from the, uh, Germany and pace from the Britain. For example, British geographer Patrick Geddes focused on uh, field study and regional survey for demarcating the region and regional planning. Another British geographer was Andrew J. Herbertson who combined the Gaudetian tradition of the regionalization and Darwinian heritage of deterministic approach in the study of natural region. As discussed earlier, pointed out, he pointed out that the natural region in the world must be demarcated on the basis uh, of association of surface feature, climate and vegetation. Beside uh, Marian uh, New Wigin wrote a book, Regional Studies, uh, he uh, see also influenced by the French tradition which is reflected in his in her book entitled Man and Her Conquest of the Nature. In addition, Fleur offer uh, a regional classification of the world based on problems and difficulty faced by man in achieving its basic needs on the earth surface like nutrition, reproduction, well-being. On these basis, he divided the world in uh, into seven regions. One more regional geographer was John F. Uh, Unsteed, who uh, gave equal weight uh, equal weight of uh, to human and uh, and environment in dividing the world into various uh, re regions. Another uh, branch was agriculture geography. The British geographer had uh, given a special focus on agriculture geography, especially land use survey and its planning and uh, uh, its planning and uh, during the early decades of the 20th century. The first world war necessitated the land use planning and crop expansion in Britain. In this background, L.D. Stamp prepared a very valuable maps of the land use for country which later became the basis of the reconstruction of the Britain after Second World War. Next branch was uh, historical geography. In Britain, Mackinder laid the foundation of the his historical geography. He viewed that the historical geography was, a, uh, was as a significant discipline which rebuilds the past geographies and so how an orderly change in the past has led the process of development of the present geographical features. He opposed geography to be merely a description of contemporary features. In his view, historical geography helped scholar to study the changing man and environment relation and learn from this change in past and predict the future and plan accordingly. Besides, geographer H. G. Derby used positivist approach in historical geography, while uh, W. Kirk and Brookfield's historical geography had a uh, humanistic orientation according to their views perceived world is more important than the real world as recorded in the documents. Uh, therefore, the real history is a history of the changing perception of the people about the geographical phenomena over the period of time. Besides, E. G. R. Taylor and E. W. Gil Gilbert contributed significantly in the historical geography in Britain. Another branch was settlement geography. Few uh, 
British uh, scholars studies and authored books on the branch of geography, especially during the interwar period. Uh, however, the scholars Flowers and his follower authored his studies on uh, rural settlements and especially uh, spatial structure of city received little attention current trends in British geography. In last 40 years, the British scholars have contributed immensely in the changing philosophy approaches and the scope of the geographical studies. The key change is noticed in quantitative revolutions and their contribution and, ge and their geographical application. In fact, during this period, geography was recognized as a special science. Uh, scholars like Peter Haggett, uh, Richard Charles contributions were significant. Both applied, uh, applied various uh, statistical and uh, mathematical techniques and articulated methods and theories in these subjects, especially in human and social geography. Therefore, geographer in Britain emphasized on quantification of the subject matter by using multivariant analysis, various statistical tools to describe a pattern and formulate geographical hypothesis and testing them. Scholars especially Haggett and uh, Charlie's book uh, elucidated, uh, uh, elucidated uh, the geographical models and its use in spatial and locational analysis. Some of the important work of these author are human geography, locational analysis in human geography, frontiers in geographical teaching, uh, uh, etc. These quantitative uh, with these quantitative uh, approach, uh, approaches, uh, British geographer have been making enormous effort to solve the current social economic problems in Britain and the world. As of uh, new uh, now countries across the world, including Britain, face a number of the problems like inter-regional, intra-regional inequality, environmental degradation, ecological crisis, inefficient public welfare system. Uh, uh, welfare system dealing with the social amenities and medical facilities. British geographer analyzes problems in detail and finding the solution for them. However, the British geographer also use new concept of positivism, pragmatism, existentialism, uh, idealism, realism, environmental causation, radicalism, uh, dialectical uh, metallism in analyzing the geographical phenomena on the earth surface. Geographer also used various thought to analyze and solve these above cited problems. Uh, some believed as per the positivism as uh, natural science discovered the law of the nature hence scientific inquiry of the communities would discover the law of society. Uh, positivism avoided the normal course, normative questions and beliefs. Some geographers focused on pragmatism to solve the social problem. Although the concept was borrowed from the United States, the British geographer accepted this concept to understand the, uh, and the solve the practical problem. One more concept was realism and that found a wide space in the Britain, uh, actually British geographical literature. Uh, now the realism is explained in opposition to idealism. British geographer recently concentrated on behavioralism and humanism as a philosophical theme for the study of human geography. These philosophies and thoughts help the British geographer to enrich contents and methods of various disciplines uh, or the branches of the subject like physical geography, regional geography, historical geography, economic geography, transport geography, agricultural geography, political geography, etc. Uh, thank you so much for listening uh, this uh, uh, contribution uh, of the Britain to the geographical uh, thought.